Next up is uh, Sandy Seng. See, she's joining us from Finland. She's an enterprise mobility MVP. Take it away, Sandy. Thank you, Stolle. Hi, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome joining us today, and uh, welcome you again. So Stoller has already, uh, he has already introduced me. So I get this question a lot. Um, people see me and then they will ask this artist. <coughs> Hello, Sandy. I know you are from Finland, but um, can I still ask you this question? Where do you actually from? <laughs> so I wanted to have this chance and I tell a little bit more about myself. So I grew up in China, um, in Guangzhou. It's a south city in China. This is how it looks like. So in 2001, I flew from Guangzhou, take a plane, about nine hours, go to Finland, Helsinki. And then I took a train, takes five hours about, and go to Yuanzhou. So that is the city where I am living now. As you see, Yuanzhou is a beautiful city. It has snowed. So when I first time come from China to Finland, the first thing it was, I am starving. I was so hungry because in China, we have so many different kinds of food. And compared to Finland, there is a pasta, there is potato, not much. So I was really hungry. And I almost regretted that. But then someday, um, I remember it's 2001, October, last day of October. I was walking outside and just have my usual walk in the evening. And suddenly there is a light then and I was watching on the sky and there was something really pretty and shining and I've never seen such things in my whole life. They were just flying around like this and I was thinking, what is that? Really, I've never seen that. Guess what? It was snow. I was so excited, just like a little puppy and jumping around. And I opened my hand like this and I opened my mouth like this and tried to catch the snow. That was the moment I remembered. It makes me really happy. So it comes from Config Manager. In Config Manager, we have a SQL report. Um, SQL reports are so powerful because SQL can collect all the data we want from Config Manager. And uh, we can make any report we want. But then changing from Config Manager report to intern, it's a lot different. It's not as, intern is not as so powerful as SQL report. We have less options and less uh, building reports, but they are also really pretty. Example like this one in here, and also the next one, they are not bad, right? So change sometimes can be really difficult. I understand that. I mean, in all our lives, we all have different kind of changes. Like uh, me changing from different country to another one. Uh, you might have different kind of life changes. So changing from a config manager admin to an intern admin, first thing we run into is, what do I do with um, my report? That is a big question. But it's not possible. We can still do it. Remember, we can do it. And we just need to accept that they are not the same. And then we can involve how we do the report. But why enhance report? This is a question. Let's do a test. I will tell you why. So are you ready? Let's see. So three, two. One, first report. So this is a pie chart. So pie chart is, um, it looks like a pie. And we have in this report, we have an uh, example about in your environment, how many Windows 10 devices you have and how many numbers you have. So in the middle, I can see there's a 10. So I have totally 10 devices in my test environment. And then you can see there is a Windows 10 1909 and three devices. So next one, Excel. So some people really love Excel. In Excel, I can also have report, example like this one. 
and it's orange color, and you can change that to blue as you wish. So number three, a pie, a bar chart. So bar chart is, um, it's just a bar, right? Okay, you can see that. So the next question will be, which report did you like the most? I'm waiting for answers. No answers. Why is that? Oh, sorry, you don't remember. You're too fast. OK, let's try again. First one, pie chart. Second, Excel. And the third, bar chart. Which one? Let me guess. I think it's the first one, pie. Who doesn't like pie? Because I like it. I'm 100% sure. Wait a second. What did you say? OK, you like Excel. OK. A what? You like a bar chart. OK, so we have different opinions. Mm, what do we do about it? You see, that's the point in here. One size fits all. Odd. One size does not. Which one will it be? We really don't need to actually decide it now because we are different people, right? And that's why make us individual different. We can decide it later. So if you are the first one that you think one size fits all and it's all you need, it, it's OK. So in intern, we have default reports. Default reports, we have a different kind of reports, and we have monitorings. So the first one in Define Report is device compliance. Device compliance is um, one of my favorites. Guess that? Because device compliance can combine with conditional access. For example, in here, you see this? A Windows font. Is it compliant? No. What do I do with this? Maybe I throw it away? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not throwing that. It's my phone. <laughs> so that's the first report. And we can do that with compliance. Um, we can do that with conditional access. And with conditional access, uh, we can configure that if the device is not compliant, then your users are not able to access company data. And what else do we have in here? Device configuration. So when we configure policies in intern and deploy to our devices, we need to know is this the, the, uh, policy is applied or not. So in this case, we need a report. And then we have growth policy analytics. What does it actually do? Um, yeah, good question. Growth policy is that if you are transferring from your on-prem GPO to intern, you need to analyze the policies. So this one, this report will helping you know your on-prem a little bit better. And then you also can know, are they usable in intern? And is it supported or not? And next, this one is super important as a Windows update. Because Microsoft publish Windows updates every month, um, they also publish features updates. So this report is for features update. Remember that? And next, we have cloud attach report. So cloud attach report will tell you how do you do your co-management and how do you do tenant attach. But if this is not enough for you, you want better. You want to make your intern reporting more memorable. What you can do, enhance it. As we do the test, we understand we are different. For example, I like a black color, and you might like a green, or you might like a red. We are just so different people. So that's why reporting is its not just about the data. I mean, it's not just about the report. It's about the data, that well, how we present that, and how we use that. For example, report for customers. So our customers sometimes might require that um, I just want to excel. 
or then they require that um, I want to have a pie chart. And also for our manager. So manager also have different kind of requirements, what kind of report they want to get. Or then for presentation, like now what I'm doing. Or then for analyzing data, so that you want to know your environment a little bit more better. Or we can do monitoring. What monitoring can do is we can monitor data, and if something happens, for example, if the device is not compliant, you want to trigger some actions, you want to wipe their devices, you want to send out an email alert. Or for personal use, you can do anything you want. Once you have the data, you can do anything you want with that. So how do we do it? With log analytics, it's super easy. Only three steps. So the first one is diagnostic setting. Diagnostic setting has four tables. The first one is OD lot. Super important. So even if you don't care anything about reporting, please enable this. Because if you don't use OD lot, you have no idea what's going on in your environment. Especially if you have multiple admins, and you will not know what the admin does, and you will just be mm, pointing fingers. You did this, you did that. This is not good. So enable all the logs, and then you will know what's going on. And second, operational log. Operational log have all the details about what happened to your device and what happened to your users. And then, this is my favorite, device compliance. Again, it's compliance. I talk a lot about compliance. Device compliance is this one report. Oh, remember this report. OK, be careful. This report is it's not live report, though. It's only taking a timestamp for 24 hours, once per day. So if you want to have a live report, we also have a way to do it. I will tell you that. And then we have last one as device inventory log. So device inventory will tell you all the details of your devices, like um, which manufactured or which models, uh, what, kind of, what kind of Windows 10 it has, and who is the primary user, for example. So how we enable that? Super simple. Three step, again. We go to report, and we go to diagnostic settings. And then we create a new diagnostic settings. And then we just give it a name, and we choose these four tables, uh, what we want. And then we send that to log analytics. A second one, update compliance. Now you ask me a question. You just said that uh, default report has this Windows update. Yes, it does, but it only has feature update. So what update, com update compliance has? Update compliance is a service for Windows hosting Azure. It monitors security updates, quality updates, and feature updates. So it has multiple updates that you can monitor. And then what else it has? It has a report telling you that which device or which updates has issues so that they will need attention. And one more thing is really, really good. It also monitor where they download the content. For example, they are if the updates are coming from Microsoft Update, or if they are using peer cache, or if they are using delivery optimization. So in this report, you can get all the information you need. After you collect the data, then you can make a such beautiful report as you wish. The third, the last one. If all of this still is not enough for you, hmm, we can still do more. So what we do here is we collect the custom data and using the custom data collector API. We can use PowerShell script and proactive remediation script, collect all the data from the device, and to send it to log analytics. What else we can do? 
we can use PowerShell script, we can use Microsoft API, Graph API, and we can do Azure automation. Then we do a graph call and collect any information from Microsoft Graph API from intern. Then we inject all the important data that we, we want and put it again in log analytics. So after we collect all the data, you will have this data table set. And then, what do we do with the data? We do the report, right? That's what we have been talking all the time about reporting. So now you have the data, and you can create this really beautiful Azure workbooks. I love them. For example, this one, Windows Update. So Cloudway, few of us has been working really hard to doing a reporting. This is one of the example. Now you can see it has a really beautiful grid field. And it has green colored, it has red colored. Can you change the color? Yes, sure you do. You can change that to orange, even black, you can change that. And then you can put on some icons, um, you can put your company logos, anything you want. Is it great, good enough? Is it not? You can have a trend. You can have a trend table telling you how your Windows update goes in 30 days, even 90 days you can do, or just a week. You can choose any data range you want, any time slot you want. And then we have update compliance. Uh, we <laughs> device compliance. Device compliance is, um, how can I say? In intern, we do have device compliance report, but they are separated in multiple places, and you can download it as an Excel. You could still combine them as one single report, but it's quite a lot of work. So in here, after you collect all the data in the same place, then you can use Azure Workbook and create a one single page report. Just join all the data together, then you can have this beautiful one. Example like this. And device inventory. Many times I hear that we said intern doesn't give us enough information about our device. What can we do? Again, do the same things. Have a script, deploy that to your device using proactive remediation script, and send the data to log analytics. For example, here we collected BitLocker and storage, so I can know how our device goes and how many storage size is uh, still have and can they be updated or is it the device is run out of uh, this space. You know, like a band just have an earlier session and saying that Philip has a really terrible machine and it's slow. So in here I can see, oh, maybe the disk is running low. It needs to be cleaned. This one, app locker, no, yes. This is my favorite report. So my colleague, Maurice, he has been working so hard for this report. App locker is important to lock down your device, make your Windows device more secured. Coming from on-prem as we configure app locker and we have no idea what's going on, if something gets blocked or they don't get blocked and what's going on, can I, to my settings and make it better. So this report can tell you all the little details, what's going on in your environment. And based on this, you can configure intern policy and make it as it fits. And the last report here I'm showing you, this is the report that we are currently working on in Cloudway. It's BIOS compliance. We heard a lot that the device need to update BIOS, and otherwise the feature update doesn't work. We need to manage control how our device update BIOS. And this report will definitely help you. How does it sound? Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Happy reporting. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sandy. 
And um, you're doing a crossword key Ooh. takeaway for your session. I think I actually can guess yeah, you your can word. Start. Yes. But still, tell us. It's reporting. Oh, reporting. reporting. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Why? Um, because it doesn't matter how good we configure our environment. Without reporting, we are really like a blind. We don't see anything. We know nothing what is going on in our environment. So I think it, reporting is super important. I totally agree. Thank you very much. Thank you.